Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and in this RPG Maker Envy tutorial, we're going to continue our JavaScripting for beginners. So, in today's episode, what we're going to be talking about is how to add and remove party members with JavaScript commands. Okay, so the first command you're going to need to know how to do is dollar sign game, capital P on party, dot add, capital A on actor. And inside of this uh, function, there's one argument, and the argument is going to be the number in the database uh, for that actor. So if we look into our database, we see we have two here. And for our actors, number two is Tiana. So we know that Tiana is going to be added to the party when we specify two. So we're going to use a command you already know, dollar sign game, uh, capital M on message dot add, parentheses, quotations, Tiana, since we just checked that that's Tiana, has joined the party. Uh, close the quotations, close the parentheses, and we'll do an inline so it doesn't crash. <clears throat> now we're doing a self switch right here to go to the next page. When the self switch is on, it's going to do this. This is how you remove your actors from the party. So dollar sign game, capital P on party, dot remove, capital A on actors to... And this is going to show a message saying Tiana's left the party. And uh, you can probably get away without that last inline since it's the end of it. But let's just be safe and throw an inline on there. And then control self switch A off. That means uh, after we remove the party member, it's going to go back to this page because no longer is self switch A on. So if we keep talking to this uh, event, it's going to add the party member, remove the party member, add the party member, remove the party member, and, and back and forth. Uh, one more thing we're going to look at is a command on how to initialize a party member. So we're going to do dollar sign game actors dot actor, whatever actor we want right here. We saw that too is Tiana. Then we're going to add another function. We're going to do dot setup. And then this number right here would uh, reflect the same actor. So we're going to do uh, actor2 dot setup2 in line. So this is going to initialize whoever actor2 is. So game, uh, then we're going to just output a message. We've already gone over that. Tiana has been initialized. So what initialization does is it sets them back to the default value of the level and basic uh, equipment and everything in the database. So we can see that initially Tiana is going to be level 5. So let's get in game and take a look at this. Alright, so Tiana has joined the party and we're level 5. If we uh, activate the event again, it's going to take away doing the remove uh, actor command. So let's take, let's add her again. Let's talk to this other event. I didn't show you, show it to you, but it's, it'll be in another tutorial. This is just going to add experience to the party. So now instead of level five, she's level 39. But this is, let's see what happens if we remove her and then add her again. Is she going to go back to level five? What do you think? Well, no, she's not because we didn't reinitialize her. So you can add a party member, change the party member, remove the party member, do cutscene, take them out, jump to the next part of the plot, and then add her back to the party again. And she's still got all the equipment, all the items, uh, uh, her level, experience, whatever skills. It's the same exact character. But what happens if we try to initialize that character? Well, that character goes back to the starting default. Level 5, all of her gear will be reinitialized and everything. So if we remove her and then we add experience to the party. Um, well, we've got, well, now we're level 53, but she wasn't in the party, so she's not gonna get that experience. So she's still level five. If we add experience, she's level 39, we remove her, we add her again, she's still level 39 because we didn't reinitialize her. So we can reinitialize her, she's back to level five. So hopefully you guys like this quick tutorial on how to add and remove party members using JavaScript commands. We'll go over the commands one more time to add. It's the game dollar sign game party dot add capital A on actor. Don't forget to capitalize because JavaScript is very case sensitive. The two is going to reflect your uh, database value. And then, uh, so okay, we did that. That's to add, remove. You're just going to do the same thing. Dollar sign game, capital P on party dot remove, capital A on actor, and then the number of the actor you want to remove. And to initialize, we use a little bit of a longer command, dollar sign game actors dot actor two dot setup for the same number of that same actor so thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys for being awesome hopefully you guys like the new mic the new audio setup we're about to start the udemy course pretty soon how to build a game from start to finish it'll be a couple months before it's completely edited and everything but thank you guys so much we will see you in the next tutorial